Hello, everybody, and welcome back once again to the Dragon Quest Heroes Let's... Wait, no. Dragon Quest 4 Let's Play! <laughs> uh, uh, I'm so sorry. I really want to be playing Dragon Quest Heroes right now, but... You know, nothing against DQ4. It is an excellent game. Uh, it's just... It's not what I want to record right now, but I need to record more episodes. So... I'm here instead. <laughs> All right, so what we need to do is we need to go to the Royal Crypt, which is near Endor Castle. So let's zoom to Endor Castle. All right. Is it down over here in one of these? I think this is it. This might be it. It looks like it. Oh, wait. Let's change our party first. Boria, Kirill, nothing against either of you. I think Mina has multi-heal yet. Once she learns multi-heal, then yeah, she's going to be fantastic. But for now, let's go with this group. I don't believe there's a boss in here. No, there's not. No! Damn it! I hate these dungeons so much. I really, truly do. I really, really, truly do. It looks like there's really only one way to go right now, anyways, so... Yeah, we have to go down here. We're not being given a choice. Doesn't look like we have a choice here, either. Yeah, I'm going in here. And, once again, no choices on where to go. <clears throat> hey, we got the Staff of Anti-Magic. That's good to have. Let's... hand this to... Kirill. Whoops, no. No, you fool. Sure, Magma Staff hits harder. Yes, it does. All right, so now we actually have options on where to go. Now, if we wanted to get out, it looks like all we would have to do is just go right. But we need the mod rod. So that's actually, that's what we need. Okay, so to get that, we're going to circle around this way. And this should be a mini metal. Don't step on the panels. <gasps> oh my god! They're beautiful! They're so, so beautiful! Okay, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Tactics. Now, she is already... Maya is using a poison needle, which is great. It means that she can get an instant kill. Kirill, I'm afraid you don't have much going for you, so you're just going to have to regular attack. Maya, regular attack. 
Oh, they're sticking around. I wish I knew B-Dragon. I don't think Maya gets that until later, though. Pretty sure it's like level 40 or something. Putting some damage out there. Oh, and of course, he's the one who runs. Nope. Stop running away. <laughs> yes, there's a crit. There's a crit. All right, Elena. Elena. Ah. We got one of them. We got one out of five liquid metal slimes. <clears throat> I'll take it. It's a it's a victory. Mini metal, and now we just have a really long walk to get to the mod rod. Oh, crap. Are these the guys that I think they are? I seem to recall them being awful. <clears throat> of course, we have Elena on the team, so who cares what I remember. She's just going to murder everything's face as it shows up. <clears throat> Maya, he doesn't care about fire magic. Ouchie. Snap. Uh, yes, I do want to heal. Why not? Let's do it. No, I have to go around. I have to go around the other way. Yes. Yes, I do. Just about done. It's not actually a very long dungeon. I kind of feel I want to kill the bloody blade first. Lennon's probably got it. Yep.
Yay! Mod rod obtained. <clears throat> Let's get out of here. This will allow us to sneak into areas where uh, monsters are in charge. Alright, there is a note in the guide to go grab the lightning rod over by Hoffman's place. Or as we know it, St. Seigensburg. Let's go do that. Let's do that right now. Where was it? Was it up here? Is it northeast? I can't remember. I can't remember. Where was the Vault of Renor? It was back during, like... Lena's chapter, wasn't it? We'll figure it out. This this guy doesn't know what's gonna hit him. No, that's Ragnar's stuff. Okay, all right. Tobrov, Zelenograd, Vrenor. Yes, and then the Vault of Vrenor. There was a lightning staff in here that we were not able to get. Let's go do it now. Pretty sure what those journal entries were about, too, from the guy who was looking for, um... A magical wand or whatever he was talking about. Oh no, not vampire bats! I think. Yeah. Yep, yep, we got both of those. Okay, alright. Overpowered, but worth it because we're going to be getting, I think it's the best staff in the game. I think. I'm all confused because I don't actually see it on the map. It's just listed as being here. We will find it. Oh no, boom didn't work. Watch, he puts everybody to sleep. No? Okay, we're good. We're good. Alright, 
here's what we're gonna do. We're, we're gonna get this combat started. We're going to check online real quick. Real, real quick. Lightning Rod DQ4. <clears throat> Go to where you found the golden bracelet and examine it. Oh. Oh, it's one of those tricks. It's one of these treasure chests. Ah! Aha! 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 I might have missed this in my previous playthrough. I don't think I found this. <clears throat> All right. So, lightning staff can go... Oh, wow, Kirill, you can't even equip it? Well, still. I mean, it casts Zap, I think. Alright, let's get out of here. Not Zoom. Evac. Still have a little bit of time. Let's go use our ultimate key. Because there's a couple of places that we've missed. Right in here, for instance. Another mini metal. ring do again. Oh, that's right. It recovers MP when you use it. It's like the wizard's rings. I don't know if this one breaks or not. It probably does. Otherwise, it'd be a little too good, you know? Well, zoom to Endor. This actually required. The ultimate key, though. Let's keep poking around. Got to be something somewhere. And is that by the tournament grounds? So probably not in here. Stairs, maybe? Aha! Um, come back at night, I'm thinking. We'll grab that and then we'll end this episode.
Nope. Not what I want. Come on, man. Can we sneak by? We can sneak by. Do you pace or do he paces? Okay. All right. All right, it's fine. Aha! Do you just stand there? Are you, are you gonna care? We're stealthy. What is the king doing in the dressing room? With fishnet stockings. I'm, I'm going to say they belong to his wife. Pink leotard. We just bought one of these. Damn it. <clears throat> I never imagined for one minute that the princess would be wed so soon. Now I seem to be without a sleeping chamber all of a sudden. Ha <laughs> ha. That's weird, man. <laughs> it's really weird. And a feathered cap. This late into the game always seems a little cruel. And this seems like an excellent place to go ahead and end the episode. I mean, I know he's just going to kick me out, but let's sneak out anyways. Just to mess with the guy. He won't know we're messing with him, of course, because I'm too stealthy. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching the Dragon Quest IV Let's Play, everybody. I am your host, Saigon, and when we come back next time, I, I'm not sure. We, I'm not actually sure where we're supposed to go next. Um, maybe we'll do more item gathering with the ultimate key. I'm, I don't know. <laughs> but thanks for watching, and I hope to see you all next time. Peace out, everybody.